But I got three new lights that uh, are pretty cool. And so I just wanted to show them to you. Maybe it's something you're interested in. These are lights that I've tested, but these are limited editions. These are some uh, brass and copper ones that are pretty cool looking. And there's something really unique about them that I didn't even expect when I got them that they would come this way. So stick around for this short review of these three O lights and maybe you'll find something useful. Now the tactical pen that I use is the O-Pen from Olight. This is the O-Pen Pro, and what I like about it is, first of all, that it writes really, really well. But in addition to that, it's got some cool features like having a light here on the clip, and even if you double tap it, it's actually pretty bright. In addition to that, it's got a green laser, which is always fun for the kids and for pointing stuff out, but it's also just a really robust pen, and I like the fact that it's rechargeable, with a USB-C, just take off the top right here. And if you really, really need to, there's a button inside here, which allows you to control the light here on the front. There's nothing crazy, special, or super amazing, except for the fact that it's got all these features built into a single pen, and it works really well as a self-defense device. The threads on here are very strong, and it's got an O-ring on it, so that way it's waterproof. So it just makes it a really nice pen to have. So I got this version here, which is the Open Pro Brass Bark which is a pretty cool looking pen right here. But this is what surprised me the most is it comes in a vacuum sealed bag and that's because it's brass. So I think I'm gonna have to save this for a special occasion, but this is one of the cool things that Olight does is they do these special edition runs so that way you can get some cool looking gear. But this is definitely much heavier than this one here. So this is quite the robust and stout pen to have in your pocket for when you need it the most. Now the other light is the Warrior Mini 2. This is one of my go-to flashlights for just a small, easy to use flashlight. It's great for camping. It's got a sensor on the front. So that way, if you turn it up all the way high, it'll start to dim down. This makes sure that you don't melt anything in your pocket or in your backpack. This is about the largest EDC light I can see anyone using. But what's cool about it is it uses the standard 18650 battery. Uh, a lot of Olight flashlights use a larger battery. If I remember correctly, it's the 21700. A lot of people have an issue with that because it's not as common of a battery. Well, this one uses the standard 18650. So these batteries are plentiful. They're easy to recharge. I like to use my Omino stand over here. Just put my light on it and it recharges it. But it's really nice for long-term use because you have this moon setting and allows you to have enough light just for your operating area in a real small space. Or if you're needing to read a map or anything like that, you're not gonna be reflecting a bunch of light back in your eyes, killing your night vision. But it's got the moon, low, medium, and high, and then ultra high. And you get to the ultra high by doing a double click, but if you do a triple click, it also does strobe. So just an all around good flashlight. And so I got this copper version because I thought it looked really nice. And then as well, it comes with this special vacuum seal on it and deoxidizing pouch. So it's just another really special light. Again, this one feels much heavier than this one, but has all the exact same features as my original Warrior Mini 2, except this one's just a custom copper style, which is pretty cool. And then the last one is this Ancient Bamboo. Now, I've, this is actually my first one of these. It's the i3T, but this just uses two AAA batteries. It's not rechargeable or anything like that. And again, it also came in this vacuum seal pack. They were doing a special on it. I'm not sure if that's still going on, but this is the size of EDC light that I used to carry. What I like about it is that it fits well in your jeans. This size light is about the depth of a pocket right on the back edge against the seam. And this one's kind of cool because of the bamboo texture. It actually fits your fingers real comfortably. And all of these lights have a two-way clip. So that way you can clip it onto your hat or onto your shirt or anything like that making it really easy to use. And again, this one is really, really heavy. It's, it's surprisingly heavy for how small this light is. My everyday light that I use is always my Baton 3. That's been my favorite now for a couple of years. This one doesn't have interchangeable batteries, but it is rechargeable and it is, and it is really bright for being so small and it's so lightweight that I can easily put on my hat or on my uh, lapel or my jacket or shirt or whatever. And you can see on the Warrior Mini 2 that the Baton 3 is Almost the same size, but a little bit smaller. But I like how short it is. It always sits in my pocket very comfortably. So just want to let you know about these options. Olight does uh, sales pretty often. So click the link down below, see what other options they've got going on. And if they don't have any sales, then you can always use the coupon code MMP10, as in Minuteman Prep 10, and get a discount that way. So personally, I've decided to save these flashlights for some special occasions, maybe some giveaways because they're so cool. Anyone who's a Patreon member, you can go to patreon.com slash Minuteman Prep. It's automatically put in drawings for stuff like this. 
We'll be giving away a pistol light real soon. And as well, I'm gonna be doing a review and giveaway on this through night rifle light. It's a very simple, very affordable rifle light and it gets the job done. So stay tuned for reviews like that. I've also got reviews on different solar generators coming out. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Thank you to all my subscribers and Patreon members, especially. You guys make this possible and I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. So thank you very much. Having a flashlight on you at all times is one of the easiest ways to be prepared. I'm surprised at how often I use mine. So as always, be prepared and I'll see you guys in the next video.